Hello, this is X Factor Legend Wagner, and I'd like to welcome you all to the Just J Club YouTube channel, home of the best Grand Theft Auto content. Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the currently unreleased vehicle, the Karen Sultan Classic, which was released with the Casino Heist DLC. Now, I say released, but it's not actually released yet. Apparently, this is going to cost around $1.7 million, so it's going to be very expensive. Um, but it is cool, man. It looks awesome. And it is a classic Sultan and it looks like an old school Evo real nice man looks really nice um, but yeah with that being said let's crack on with this build and always we're gonna start with 100% body armor then we're gonna go to the brakes we're gonna get the race brakes bumper front bumper not as many options as I was hoping for but they they are actual changes which is good um, usually we get loads of different options for bumpers but they don't really change the look of it it's just like a splitter that's being added or some canards which are being added you know what's a color change or something stupid like that but this is actually a physical change which is awesome and it carries on all of them are different to one another this is the sort of customization we need you know where you choose a bumper and it actually looks different from the last one you looked at none of this fucking splitter and canards bullshit this is the, this is the sort of customization I crave in GTA and when we get it it's awesome I really like the GT Mark II bumper as well that is really nice that's good too <laughs> that's awesome as well but I think this one might have the edge because obviously it removes the license plate um, but all the options are cool that one looks a little bit weird but um, yeah GT Mark II bumper is the one for me rear bumper four additional options and hopefully these all look different as well which they do Man, that's awesome. And I'm assuming we can get some dual piping going on because we've obviously got another cut out there um, with the drift bumper. Uh, but I think... Should we go GT? I don't know, man. I actually like the street bumper. Yeah, I think the street one's my favourite, so I'm going to go with that. Then we're going to move to the engine. We've got the level 4 engine upgrade. Then we've got the exhausts. Loads of options for exhausts. And... I'd like a dual pipe on this if we get it. Um, I'm assuming we do because we had the cutout for it. There we go. There it is. That's the one. And that's the only one. Oh, man. The one and only. That's a shame. I was hoping to maybe get a dual pipe of this sort of design because I actually really like that. I think that looks really cool. Um, but we do get dual pipes. That's awesome. You know, the big ball. At least we get it. Um, but I think this one looks a little bit better and I haven't got a cutout which is specific for an exhaust in this bumper so I think I'll get away with using the chrome big bore exhaust the next option we've got is headlights uh, so we've got four additional options for the headlights and it is just the color um, housing which you can see is changing we've got the carbon the secondary the primary and the plastic um, at the at stock it looks like it's like a chromey color um, I'm going to go with a plastic because I think it suits, well it matches, should I say, the plastic in the bumper and I think it looks pretty good. Then we're going to move on to the hood. Loads of options for the hood, which is pretty sweet. So we've got the secondary hood, then we've got the carbon hood. Sticker bomb, man. Nice. I do like to see things like that. That is awesome. Uh, then we've got the vented. Very super-esque. Uh, the secondary version of that, the carbon version of that, the sticker bomb version of that. The performance hood, that looks awesome. Love the look of the performance hood. Uh, GT hood, which is again very much like a Subaru. But I suppose the Solon is a mix match of the um, Impreza and the Evo. Because um, obviously with the GT hood, you can see that is definitely an Impreza hood. And then when you look at the lights and the front end of this, this is very much like an Evo. But then it's, you can see it's got a little bit of Impreza in it as well. Yeah, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what sort of car this is supposed to be, but you can definitely see it's a mix of the both, and um, it looks awesome, man. I think this performance hood is very much like an Evo, but then this hood, the GT hood, is very much like an Impreza. That's cool. I absolutely love Sultans. They're such a cool car. 
Uh, anyway, we've got the race hood and with a secondary vent and then the race hood there with a plastic black vent. Um, but my favorite was the performance hood. This one looked awesome, so I'm gonna grab that. Then we're gonna go to the lights. We've got headlights and I'm gonna purchase the Xeon headlights. We do get an option for liveries, which I'm not surprised of at this stage in GTA. Every DLC car seems to have loads of livery options. So we've got the, the standard double race stripe, obviously, because what car doesn't have that nowadays? Then we've got the Karen banner across the bottom. Uh, we've got the shopping list. That kind of looks okay. You know, old school tuner. It looks all right. Then we go into track day mode with with these liveries uh, that's pretty smart not my sort of thing I don't think I'll go for it but for what it is uh, that's pretty cool uh, we've got the redwood one obviously standard backside tribal um, that one isn't too bad you know again not my cup of tea but you know it could be for somebody Karen's perf Karen's performance. <laughs> we've got Karen performance again an old school Impreza rally livery uh, which we do get on the original um, Sultan, but it's the RS version, you know, when you take it into Benny's. I don't think you get this livery otherwise. It is only when you upgrade the previous Sultan to the Sultan RS in Benny's workshop. Um, but it's cool to see it back with the Sultan Classic. And that's it, my dudes, for the liveries. I actually like the shopping list, and obviously because it is an old school car, why the fuck not? So next we're going to move to the respray. I actually really do like this green, to be fair. Right, so after a lot of backwards and forwards, I have decided on a metallic sunrise orange. I think it looks okay. You know, a lot of the colours looked good on this, but um, I think this one just popped for me, and I thought that looked the best. Obviously, it's just a personal opinion. Um, but yeah, I think orange, or sunrise orange, should I say, looks pretty awesome on this car. And for the secondary colour, I am also going to go metallic and sunrise orange. Then we move on to the roof. Uh, three options for the roof. We've got a secondary roof, carbon roof, and a sticker bomb roof. Sticker bomb roof actually looks a little bit weird. Now I've changed the color and I haven't really got the sticker bomb on the hood. I think if I had the sticker bomb on the hood, it might look a little bit better. Um, but I think I'm gonna go with the carbon roof. Yeah, I'm gonna go carbon roof. And whilst I'm on the carbon vibe, I'm gonna go back into the hood and change my performance hood to the carbon performance hood. No. Then that brings us down to the roof accessories. Oh shit. So, uh, roof spoiler. So we get a little spoiler at the back. Oh man, this is a nice um, little addition. Don't think I'll choose any of these because actually I take that back because I do like a sun strip. Hopefully we can get a plain one. That looks weird as fuck. I hate roof scoops, man. The proper old school tuner, I know, but um, it looks weird, especially with the carbon roof. It definitely doesn't go. Maybe if we can get a carbon one. Nope, we get a carbon uh, roof box. If you want to turn it into like a Tora, I suppose that could work. But uh, yeah, not for me. Um, I don't think I'm going to grab any of these options. Maybe if the Vortex generators were carbon, that might look a little bit better, but it looks a little bit out of place for me. Then we've got side skirts. So we've got the rubber extensions. Looks strange you know i don't really get that bit it's all right <laughs> uh, then we've got the street skirt gt skirt and the tuna skirt shame we can't get one with a carbon strip across the bottom to match the front but nevertheless i think i'm gonna go with the gt skirts then we've got the spoiler loads of options for spoilers didn't really expect anything less to be fair so we've got a low level another low level secondary low level a ducktail, primary, uh, secondary, carbon, street wing. Mm, maybe if we can get a carbon one, which we can get, you know, a sort of carbon one. It's not exactly the same. It's a little bit lower, uh, a little bit chunkier. It looks cool though, man. I like how it cuts around the, the back. I think that looks quite nice. Uh, not so much with that one. I think the full carbon one looks better. Can we get one of these in full carbon? No, but we can get a Karen Extreme wing. That looks quite nice. That's a very Impreza looking wing. Um, yeah, so that's about it really. Nothing spectacular for the for the spoilers. This one was alright. But I'm kind of going off that 
carbon roof now, to be honest. I'm thinking maybe grabbing the Karen Extreme Wing and changing my roof back to stock. I think that might look a little bit better. But keeping the hood carbon, I think the, the, the hood actually looks pretty smart um, as it is. Uh, then we've got suspension. Competition. Oh, no. Nah. Why is it doing it with all these vehicles? That's awesome that it slams it, but then it gives it that camber. I really dislike it that it's doing it with all the vehicles. That should be a separate option to slam it, one option, camber it, another option. That's the way it should be, but instead it's just, you know, you either love it or you fucking hate it, and I'm starting to hate it, to be honest. It's fun when it's on the stupid cars like the Asbo, you know, not actual cars that you're going to take seriously, but a car like this that you would actually take seriously. And it's doing that to it. Not my sort of thing, man. So in that case, I am just going to go street suspension. Transmission, we're going to get the race transmission. And we've got a trunk option. Secondary trunk. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so we changed the color of the trunk. And we get a sticker bomb version of it as well. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it how it is. Turbo, we're going to get the turbo yeah, tuning for the wheels. The wheels are pretty standard, to be honest. Nothing special at all. So I'm going to go wheels and I'm going to go into the sport. I'm going to stay stock and I think black is going to look beastly on this. So I'm going to go with these Endo V.1 and then go into the wheel color and change it to carbon black. And I was about to say to finish off this build we got the windows but there's an extra option which I've just clocked. So we are going to go to the windows first of all and change them to light smoke then we're going to go to the window spoiler and see what's up here oh so we get an extra bit at the back as well so why are they giving us loads of options to have different spoilers so we could essentially have three spoilers on this car man what the hell um, I was expecting something a little bit different but you know it is what it is I'm not really sure about them I think that's a bit of a Bit of a weird option to have, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave it how it is. So as we pull out of LS Customs, you'll see this vehicle, the Karen Sultan Classic. Just looks awesome, man. It's a shame we can't get that shopping list in black. I think that would have looked a little bit nice, especially with the design that I've gone with, the carbon black and the um, sunrise orange. I think um, if we could change the livery to like a, a black as well would look amazing but i love the look of this car man it looks so good like i said it's definitely a mashup of the impreza and an evo and it's hard to tell what what it is more because it, it just looks so much like both of them it's really weird but yeah man thumbs up straight away for um the way it looks it looks awesome customizations i'm really happy with there's not you know hundreds and thousands of options but what you do get is really good and um, Rockstar have done an amazing job with the way this car looks from stock and the way you can customize it I'm definitely going to give them the props for that but bear in mind this car is still 1.7 million dollars so it is going to be a hell of a lot of money um, just for a car that looks good so let's have a little drive and then maybe try and determine on whether this is actually going to be good enough for maybe races or even just general use around the streets because you need a car which is going to get you from A to B pretty fast you know so what I'm going to do quickly I'm going to quickly grab up my um, speedometer so now you should see it in the top right hand side um, I'm not sure how accurate this is but it should give us a, a general idea of how quick this vehicle is going to be but anyway let's crack on so as you pull off the acceleration does seem a little bit sloppy but then it, it picks up pretty quick and we've hit 100 with ease. So it is a pretty fast vehicle. It sounds a little bit, I don't know, a little bit droney. It don't sound as good as I was hoping. But it still sounds good. Still got that, that blow off where, and the dump valve that kicks in. So it still sounds pretty cool. It just didn't sound as good as I was expecting it to sound. Um, I don't really know what I mean by that, but... <laughs> I had, a, I had a sound in my head that, it, that what it might sound like, and it doesn't sound like that. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that. But, you know, it's nothing to worry about. It's nothing too drastic. Um, it feels quite sluggish, to be honest, with the acceleration. But um, top speed actually feels okay. Um, it soon picks it up. 
the handling feels all right it feels like it wants to kick out every now and again when you go around the corner so you kind of have to be a little bit aware of that but generally it's it's pretty quick the handling's really nice um like i said it does want to kick out every now and again but what car doesn't and as you can see it went around there pretty easy no spin out um it just felt really good so i'm i'm generally really happy with this vehicle uh, the way it looks the customization the handling is really good um the, the speed doesn't feel that great but it's something i can see past um, because it's not terrible it's just not amazing you know um, but that's probably the the um, only downside to it really other than how much it's going to cost you to to purchase this vehicle because 1.7 million isn't chump change by any means it is a lot of money and a lot of grinding it's cool man it just looks awesome i can't wait for it to be released into online so i i, I am going to be purchasing it when it is released online so that's, de that's a definite for me but uh it, it's just going to come down to the price you know whether you can afford 1.7 million or not i am going to say one more time this car is awesome and i highly recommend it so with that being said guys i am going to leave the video where it is i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please smash that like button and if you haven't already why not subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys i'm out adios Thank <laughs> you.